Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gerard. I brought along two guns for today. One is my NRL PRS setup and the other one is my 177 slugger that I haven't shot in a long time. Woo! Check at that. <laughs> So we're going to start off the day with my 22 caliber FX Impact M3 and this gun has a reputation of taking no prisoners. Feeling satisfied with what I've accomplished on this side of the farm, it's time to change some gears and take out my 177 slugger. <laughs> Solid. Magnifique. Smackdown. Now watching these slugs rip into these pest birds really brings a big smile to my face. Knowing that after months of hard work developing these projectiles, I can now see the full potential to what these slugs have to offer. This will be the longest shot that I've taken so far with a 177, so let's see. Camera. No, camera's rolling. Okay, there we go. <laughs> yes! Two shots, two shots, 208 yards for the 177. <laughs> and that, my friends, is officially my longest shot with the 177 slug ever or shall we say for now at least so i'm pretty sure you've noticed that i'm carrying around a set of binos with me here this is a six kilo 3000 bdx it's a range finding binocular which i use now to connect with my kestrel very very effective 
by push of a button now I do get the range plus I get the dope which I need to dial on my scope to hit my target. I can range all the way out effective to 3000 yards on smaller targets and if you want to range bigger targets it will hit the mark all the way out to 5000 yards. Cracking shot. Down he goes, 124. <laughs> oh, I just one thing that just cheers me up is shooting down a starling. I hate starling. Now there is something that I haven't done in a very very long time and that is to push the limits on these slugs and the gun itself. Today I thought myself it's about time to see what this little 30 grain slugs can do out at long range. I've loaded 10 slugs in the magazine. I've got a soda can out in the fields at 450 yards. I've got two cameras here, one on the gun. Let me see if I can turn that on for you. And then one here on the target. Let's see. There you go. Now I'm going to see if I can knock that soda can down within 10 shots at 450 yards. Just for fun. Cameras are rolling. Go away. Right, let's see. There we go. Very close. Just to the right. Just over. Whoop. Gotcha! <laughs> nice! Nice, nice, nice! Let's see. Two shots to spare. And that is on shot number eight at 450 yards. Now, I will never go for a hunting shot at this crazy distance. But I think it's pretty impressive to see the precision these little H&N 30 grain slugs can give you out at 450 yards. After inspecting the soda can out at 450 yards, my break time was over and it was time to get back to work. <laughs> what a lovely shot. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> that one hit the floor hard. Fall so hard. <laughs> what a lovely shot. Okay, so it's time to have some fun. What I've done is I've put a steel spinner target out at 120 yards. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna shoot it. And the thing that I'm gonna do here is I'm not gonna sit behind the gun, hold it proper and shoot at it. I'm gonna look on the little side screen here and see if I can put 10 on steel down there without even holding it proper. Um, I need to hurry up as well because the screen um, basically blacks out after a couple of seconds so I need to do some fast shooting as well but I just want to show you I'm confident I am with this gun so all right so let's get on target quickly there there we go let's see one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Oh, the screen is dark. <laughs> All right, so let's just wake it up. I'm sitting on nine. Let's just wake it up. There we go. One more. Let's see. One more, one more, one more. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 10 out of 10, 120 yards, 2 inch spinner target and that's not even holding the gun proper, that's just looking from the side in the little screen. That's how confident I am about my gun setup. The 177 Slugger is really becoming one of my favorite guns but it's time to take out the 22 to push the power levels up again. Smashing shot there. Just too easy.
those who haven't seen this yet, this is a FX Impact M3 sniper. It's got a 700 millimeter .177 barrel. Inside the barrel is a 1 and 18 twist liner inside there. I'm shooting the H&N .177 20 grain slugs today at 930 feet per second. The way that I've tuned this gun is I've, the, I've opened up the front regulator completely. The rear regulator I've set to 155 bar. I've got the macro adjuster to number 8, micro adjuster to number 4, and the valve is just under 4 lines. Now, if I can give you guys good advice, if you're tuning for your 177 slugs, make sure that you play around with a lot of speed variances, because I have found that the harmonic notes in a 177 barrel is much smaller than your 22s, 25s, and your 30s. So play around with it, and another good tip that I can give you is now and again, just clean the barrel out as well because I have found that the 177 barrels do tend to foul, out, foul up faster than the 22s, 25s and 30s. This gun as it stands here is super accurate but I don't have to tell you that because I've already showed you that as well. Cracker! Down he goes. <laughs> oh, I love that. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, remember to go smash that like button down below. And for all the new guys who's watching today, guys, remember to subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. That's it. That's a wrap, guys. You can go. Thank you.